Hi, my name is Bob Martin. I'm the executive director of the Presidio Theater, and I want to welcome you back to one of our dreams from the Presidio Theater, a series where we're talking to some of the greatest artists that live in the Bay Area and have made the Bay Area the home for so long. Uh, two of those people who I've known for a long time, and I cannot tell you how highly I think of both of them individually and as a, a group in terms of what has come out of their work artistically, socially, making San Francisco really, as far as I'm concerned, the city that it has been, can be, wants to be. These are two extraordinary people, ambassadors to the world in terms of the work that they've done. Um, I'm gonna to introduce to you now Rodessa Jones, Idris Akamore from Cultural Odyssey, two extraordinary people. <laughs> Hi guys. Hey, Bob. How you doing? Hey, thank you for that intro. I, I think I'm extraordinary. Good afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for, for doing this with us. And I just want to talk to you first about, as we've been going through this period, of what kind of dreams you've had or what kind of dreams you feel like you do have for what's next and what we're going through. I'm going to be a great grandmother soon. Right on. In July. Yeah. <laughs> And that has been extraordinary because I dream of this child. My, my, my granddaughter knows it's a boy. And uh, he's being named after my brother because he'll be, my brother who passed away, Azel, the second Azel will be, will be coming in July, the same day as my brother Azel's birthday. And in the last dream I had with this child, I was walking through what had looked like uh, um, an abandoned train station and then it opened up into like a park and there was a bench and this beautiful little boy is sitting there seven eight years old and he's not worried but he says to me did you come to get me and i'm saying excuse me he says somebody is supposed to come get me and i sat down and i started talking to him and he told me what his name was and he told me he was the second coming and this is like uh, uh, um, Uzo, who's an African uh, uh, artist that I'm mentoring. And she says, you know, this is a spirit child because we sort of didn't plan for this child, you know, but this child is coming through. And she says that this, this little boy has come to write things. This little boy has come to write the world. His very presence is going to like set the world in another another way for everybody to move through it. So that's like a, a living uh, night dream that I have of uh, Azel, my great grandson. Who's Speaking of dreams, uh, before I even knew about this pandemic, when I was in Europe, I came up with this piece that turned out to be uh, uh, on my album, which was recorded in November. Mm. And it's entitled, Freak Storm Comes. It's Freak storm comes. Freak storm comes. You better hide. You better run. Freak storm comes. Freak storm comes. You better hide. You better run. A hole opens in your heart when too soon a loved one parts. One moment, calm seas, bright sun. A blink of an eye, you gotta run as bullets spray shots of a gun. Laughing and smiles, no more fun. Freak storm comes, freak storm comes. You better hide, you better run. Mm. Young and old die before their time. Smiles turn to grief, we all do fine. A mother's gone. A sister, too. A brother, a father, a dear friend who you saw one moment, next one gone. You saw one moment, next one gone. Now, I wrote this uh, in the middle of November before any of this happened. And then, you know, coming back here to, to San Francisco, uh, I immediately dived dove into the editing of my album. It's going to be on uh, Strut Records out of London. And then the next thing I know, we, we were at the Presidio Theater uh, for the, on February the 24th with the Attain All Day Meeting. No one knew then either. Speaking on the behalf of San Francisco, 
we are incredibly fortunate to have both of you here with your heart and your soul and your incredible creativity. Um, I love both of you guys a lot, and I'm so grateful that you joined us today to talk about uh, what's going on with you.